So the European beaver is one of our native species which became extinct in about the 16th century, really because of us, because we hunted them to extinction predominantly for their fur. European beavers, are, or the Eurasian beaver, are often known as ecosystem engineers, so they create, modify, they maintain their habitat for their own purposes. This can involve things like building of dams, so we're here in front of a beaver dam, and that's why there's some controversy surrounding their reintroduction. There's question marks over whether their reintroduction will be a, a positive thing for native biodiversity, but also concern that building of dams will back up water and maybe increase things like flooding risk for people's properties or agricultural land. Because the landscape that the beavers uh, used to live in before they became extinct uh, was dramatically different to the landscape that we're reintroducing them into now. Hi, uh, so my name is Taru Tuzaki. I'm the Experimental Officer for the Faculty of Engineering and Environment. So today we're on the River Tail, which is about 15 minutes away from Honiton. And uh, the River Tail is quite interesting. In 2008 they introduced some beavers into a private field which have uh, just started to build dams actually in the river. So our um, objective today is to look at how these dams have impacted fish populations or movement of fish throughout this reach. And um, what we're looking at is to study different areas of the river and assess the population of the different species that we have within the river to make an accurate assessment of what's actually happening to the, to the river when the, as the beavers are building these dams. So today we've got three reaches we're studying. Uh, one is at the very bottom end of the river, which is our control section. It's basically our natural area of um, the untouched river, so to speak, which will be our control that tells us what fish species are in there. And then at the very top end, we'll have another control reach, which will be out of the impact zone of the beaver dam. And the area that I'm standing in now is actually a part of the impoundment caused by the beaver dam. And we're going to see how this impoundment might affect the population of fish that might be in here. Hi, I'm Daniela. I'm in the CBT, the Sustainable Infrastructure Systems. Just doing PhD. And I'm here today um, just doing some electrofishing to look at the population um, in this river system. So, electrofishing is basically. Um, we do it instead of using rod and line, it's much more efficient. We get a good um, sample of the population in this 50 metre reach. So a lot of the time people ask questions like, does electrification hurt fish? And basically it doesn't, you just send the fish so you can see them easy, catch them, um, and then you can weigh and measure them, um, and then put them back into the river once they've recovered. So quite harmless procedure. So the River Tail is uh, a county wildlife site where we're standing. Um, beautiful river and it has quite a nice composition of fish species here. So we had some very nice trout ranging from about 100 mil up to about 250 mil and um, good range of sizes throughout and also we've got quite a number of eel species um, from ranging from small elvers right through to to almost migrating silvers uh, so it's quite nice to see these eels right up at the top end of the catchment on this river uh, also we've had some lamprey liver uh, brook lamprey in the main and ranging again right through from the amasich transformers and to the full-grown adults so again very nice area fishing